Okay, well, hopefully the audio is working great here. Hey guys, like most people that are into the self-driving stuff, we finally have the new version. 12.5.4. And I have developed a bit of a uh, Chuck's left turn. It's right by my house. And what we do, I'll show you in a sec. Target. So we're going to go to Target. Now you see what we have to do here is we have to go up here and make a right turn on a frontage road where people are going like 50 miles an hour. And then we have to make a U-turn and then go onto the frontage road where people are going 50 miles an hour. So we have to make a right cut across like three lanes and then get all the way over and then make a U-turn and 1236 pretty much never did this correctly. 12521, which was that release that was sketchy, uh, almost got in a wreck. It tried to pull out when there was a car coming and I had to stop. And this is the first attempt with this 1254. I've heard good things. So I have high hopes this will work out. We passed by the glorious uh, North Austin Toyota, which uh, likes to park large semi-trucks on this um, quite busy, quite narrow road, and it makes it a bit of a hazard for the community here. Shout out to North Austin Toyota. Okay, we are coming up. We're going to full stop. Now, we have someone behind me, and I don't want to wait an egregious amount of time. Now, it's pulling out much more than it has before. There are plenty of cars coming, so... If I were driving, I would have to wait. There's really nothing we can do here. Uh, it, the visibility is not great. And I stopped because it was pulling out. Yeah, that was a fail. That was a fail. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try that again. You know, as you can do, except for perhaps making an unprotected left when there's two lanes of cross traffic. And um, if you just go for it now, you, you can pull this off. And it did. That was actually quite good. I, the guy may have had to tap on his brakes slightly, but that was quite good. Uh, there was a good window. I would have taken it. Although it was borderline for me. Okay, this is... Before, it wouldn't know where this lane was. It's still a little jerky with the wheel here, like the previous version was. Try this again. I have my foot on the brake pedal. And we'll see what happens. Full stop, and then... Uh, we're waiting. Definitely cannot pull out. Definitely cannot pull out. Still can't pull out. Okay, it's going to go for this. That's interesting. Now, it does need to get over two lanes quite quickly. Uh, this is something I would have done, actually. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, this is... Okay, and it's aborting. That... Wow. Okay. There, there was a lot happening there. Basically, the cars around me almost got in a wreck. It saw that and acted appropriately. This guy, this car that's speeding by seemed to do some crazy stuff. Uh, I don't know if I would have done anything different there. I don't think I the car drove weirdly. I think it did exactly what it should have done. But that was uh, that was interesting and kind of terrifying. But it did a good job of handling uh, some cars around me that were being overly aggressive and not paying attention. And uh, I think we should try again. Interesting routing thing, by the way. So I have a theory about how the map and the AI talk to each other. The map says I should go make a right right here, even though I'm in the left lane. So the map does not know what lane I am in. Uh, it's just basically like acting as if you were on your phone, right? What I think the AI does is gets basically dots pointed. Uh, so we have to make a left here, even though. Oh, that's jerky. That's that's weird. Okay. So what I think the, the 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 map does is effectively puts like breadcrumbs on the road that tell the AI, "Hey, this is where I'd like you to go." And the AI tries to get to those dots safely. 
kind of if you think, um, well, this isn't common but knowledge, but if you think of the way uh, uh, flight paths work for airplanes, they go from one GPS location to another, and that's their flight plan. I think it's sort of similar with the car, because the AI, you have to understand, is pretty much thinking like a person. Here's actually how I, I think it probably works. There are a bunch of neural networks and systems that create a worldview. These come in as vectors, which is simply to say they're numbers. Uh, that create a worldview. They feed these into a transformer. Think of it like ChatGPT. It feeds all of this in to a transformer and it predicts the next movement of the wheel and controls and things like that. They train zil on zillions of miles and all kinds of reactions and stuff like that. And with the, the certain inputs, it expects to get certain outputs. So I think every single, I don't know, 100 times a second or 60 times a second or whatever the cycle count is for it, it plays back, um, say, five seconds, six seconds of what just happened. And then it says, okay, what is your next slight little movement you'll make? That was an aggressive, that was an aggressive and needless lane change. Because we need to be in the left lane. So I don't know why I thought it should go in the middle lane. Perhaps it was a, it acted like it was avoiding something actually. Like it thought it saw something. I don't know. Maybe it, it thought it did. Okay. But anyways, I think that's how it works. And then, so it's effectively simply trying to go in the direction that it is going. And then if it has one of these breadcrumb kind of waypoint things, then it tries to hit those targets. And now this is also why I think the, this newer version and the, the older versions have had a little, oh, that it's like, it's like it's, ju it's like it's juking. It's like a running back. <laughs> That's like what doing there. Okay, we can go. Um, yeah. Once again, very herky-jerky wheel movements. It's getting it done, but I, w I wouldn't want to brag with this. This is someone, this is not, it's not the most confidence-inspiring thing. So anyways, going back, the, uh, if you set these waypoints, then the AI has to have a certain amount of like, I need to hit this target versus I don't. And I think if they put the waypoints too early, then, uh, so we're going to try this one more time. If they put the waypoints too early, then it ends up not driving safely or as safely as it should, because it's trying to hit those points. So I think what the map is doing is putting those points down kind of late so that it lets it do as much uh, self-safe driving as it can. Okay, so we're... But it, also to think about it, it knows that these breadcrumbs are coming up because it also knows what it has to do. This is an opportunity we can go right now. And we do, and we do it at a pretty good aggressive pull-off, but not the skidding like 1236. But 1236 was ruining my tires. It was peeling out. And this is perfect. This is exactly how you should do it. It does come in wide here. Okay, and it cuts in. It's herky-jerky. I don't like doing that. And we, we just, I think we can go. Yeah, we can, we can go. It's pausing more than it should. It pulls off quite smoothly. It... It, it, I've seen it do this a couple times. It, it makes a lane change, and then it's like, oh, I guess I should signal. I think they've trained it on BMW drivers. I think that's what they've done. They've taken BMW M drivers and trained it. Okay, now it wants to get over... Are we on assertive? No, we're on average. Look at this. It's getting over to cut ahead of these people. And now it's trying to get over. <laughs> this, this is extremely assertive. Okay, now we're... We have people pretty close behind me. We should slow down and signal. And we are, and we're going to go in here. It's actually a different entrance than it hit up last time. I mean, it did it. It did it. You know? Let's see. The, this wheel movement, I mean, it almost makes you sick. 
why is it okay well you know i think we have enough to give this this a grade at least for this experience we have right here uh we can go after this cut over all the lanes it does it okay why didn't you just get into this lane why did you get into this lane and then Okay, it's in the wrong lane, actually. Didn't get into the correct lane. Uh, so, um, overall, it is better. It is, I would say, slightly dangerously aggressive. The wheel movements, the wheel movements are unacceptably jerky. I mean, anyone, I wouldn't show this to anybody. Let me put it that way, because it's. Um, I mean, it, it's just doing it like this. It's like kind of crazy. Uh, but it, it is a huge improvement. Uh, it's able to pull off things that for sure it could not do before. So that's a plus. Uh, it just needs more refinement. And, uh, but uh, so far, so good. All right. Well, uh, make another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.